Okay guys, here I found a real nice Buick GS. It had original 350 in it, but now it's got a 383 stroker in here. And the thing about it is uh, a real nice car. This is a different type of paint job on here, but this is a custom paint job and it's real nice. This orange, it's like a brownish orange, you know? And the thing is, this thing is beautiful, man. There's these rims on here are nice with it. And as you look at the driver's side, you go down. Yeah, this is a resto, but this thing has some really nice features. And as we go around back, we have to uh, take a good look at the rear bumper. And you see, yeah, that's that old style uh, Buick. And this thing is nice, man. This thing is real nice. Let's take a look at the driver's side. As we look into the back seat, you have this comfortable back bench back here. See, that was the difference with the Chevelles and this type of car compared to Camaros and the Mustangs and whatnot and the Trans Am because you had more room back here. These bigger style cars, that's why these were heavier. You had more room and able to sit more people in here comfortably. But as you look at this driver's side seat, bucket seat, and the passenger bucket seat over there, you see the shifter in here for that stroker motor. As we swing it around, you start seeing the gauges and whatnot that came in this thing. So this car was a custom, custom build, and it turned out to be a real nice one. Let's look at the passenger side. Well, well, the glass is up, so I can't get in on that side. But the thing is, as I was just told about this car, this car is not for sale yet, but it soon will be. As they get the paperwork on it, they will be for sale. Just like another couple of cars I just did in here. Uh, that's 65 Pontiac GTO and um, a few other cars. So they're waiting on the paperwork here at Gateway Classic Cars for these cars so they can start selling them. But the thing is, if you like this car with the 383 stroker motor in here, then this thing is sitting here right now and it hasn't been sold here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. And uh, enjoy this video. I'm sorry I didn't have more information on it, but when they do get it, if I'm back here in the time, we'll do another video on it, all right?